Do you plan on moving to Ireland soon? That's amazing, I'm so excited about you. If you don't mind, very high prices, the constant rain, everyone drinking most of the time, and you're trying to get an apartment? <laughs> Hiya, what's the story, lad? Yeah, I butchered that a lot, but nevertheless, you're gonna hear that a lot over here. And yeah, I'm joking around. Ireland is actually a pretty great country that actually gives a lot of opportunities and really, truly welcomes foreigners into their country. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the important stuff you should know before you move to Ireland, like the overall cost of living in Ireland, Ireland's wages, housing and accommodation, public transport and healthcare in Ireland. So I arrived to Ireland about a year ago and the first thing that shocked me were the prices. So a fun fact is that the cost of living in Ireland is more expensive than in 95% of the world and it's the second most expensive country to live in Western Europe. Now talking numbers, what does that mean from my personal experience? Me and my girlfriend are living in Ireland for over a year now. So our monthly rent is about 1,500 euros. Our weekly food shopping is around 120, 140 euros. So that sums up to approximately 2,000 to 2,100 euros a month without doctor's appointments, mobile prepay, clothes, transportation, etc. But I'm gonna be talking about that a bit later in the video. Now I'm sure you're already sick of these prices, but let me get to a bit better part. Let's talk money, cash, buck, euros. So the minimum wage of Ireland for people at the age of 20 and above is 11.30 per hour. Note for all you youngsters coming to Ireland that uh, the minimum wage might be a bit less for you guys. So, you know, research about that. So at the rate of 11.30 euros per hour, full-time or 39 hours per week comes around to 440 euros a week. So that comes up to about 1900 euros a month. After all of the deductions, the take-home pay is about 1730 euros a month. So taking this into consideration and the prices I mentioned earlier, it doesn't seem too bad. Or does it? Drop down in the comments what do you think about that. And that's just the minimum wage. Take note that the average pay in Ireland is around 3,700 euros per month. Although you have to take into consideration that the tax is quite high at that point, but that's still some pretty impressive money given that the rent is so high. Besides that, I'd be sure to tell you that uh, it's pretty easy to find a job if you know the language. Although I do know some people that do not speak the language quite perfectly, but they still do get along really, really well over here. But work on your English skills because you are gonna miss on a hell of a fun that Irish folks can be and everything they can teach you over the course of few uh, Guinnesses, of course, or, uh, or a tea. They're sometimes freakish about their tea. Most of people in Ireland rent their homes. Now, the rent can be more or less. It's really highly dependent on where do you live. Now, it's worth mentioning that I'm living in Cork, but I can tell you the amount and effort it took for us to find an accommodation was definitely more than I would like to admit. I really do hope so that they find a way to fix this because the last couple of years have been a disaster here. Finding an accommodation can be pretty hard in Ireland, but as it turns out, in Cork specifically, can be very, very difficult. Just something to have in mind. So let's talk prices. So the rent in the city, uh, especially in the city center, it, it can be very, very high. Specifically in cities like Dublin, Limerick and Cork. Now it's very common here that people actually share accommodations, so it really cuts down the prices neatly. But if you're looking for a one-bedroom apartment in Dublin, let's say in the city center, it's gonna be somewhere around 2,000 euros. In Cork, it's about 1,400. So it's worth mentioning that you can cut down the prices for about 200 to 500 euros even, if you just look for an accommodation a bit outside the city. But that takes me to the next subject of transport. How would you get to work like that? So I'm gonna be talking about public transport, specifically in Cork now. Uh, but the point is the same everywhere as much as I saw. So for a city ride of 7.5 kilometers or a bit less than 5 miles is 1 euro 90 cents at this moment. But if you buy 
A simple little leap card online or in some convenience stores, it costs about 5 euro right now. The price can be slashed for 30%. You just top up the card on the application on your phone. Now, you're in a house. It's raining for the sixth day in a row. You didn't catch a bus a few times, so you walk to work. And you got a bit of a cough and a fever. So you grab your leap card, hop on a bus and go to your GP or a doctor. Now we needed a GP or a doctor only a few times through the year. It was mostly around 60 euro per visit. So 60 euros is a common price for a consultation with the GP. Note that we did not have a medical card or a health plan. So if he gives you a prescription, you'll most likely have to pay for that at the pharmacy. Staying at the public hospital can be quite costly. It's about 80 euros a day. If you call an ambulance, not the right, but the admission to the hospital is 100 euros. Or instead you can either apply for a medical card for which you have to be under certain income to be able to, or you can pay for a health plan and they will cover the costs of all the care you need, depending on the health plan you took. So the high prices are really compensated with the appropriate living wage. The alcohol is just a part of uh, the Irish culture. It's actually part of their fun. And I did hear that pubs do have some kind of non-alcoholic beverages or something. So you can go out and still have fun meeting the Irish lads and learning all about their culture. It can be very hard to find an accommodation here. But on the other hand, there are some employees that are uh, giving you a temporary accommodation until you can find your own. So that's pretty awesome to, you know, start your life in Ireland. I strongly suggest you get a strong umbrella like the one in the description down below because it will be a game changer for the wind out here. We destroyed about four umbrellas in the first three months we were here. Yeah, think about that. Here's a picture of one of them. Do you see that? You'll need that umbrella. I'm gonna be making more videos about Ireland since this is my life now. And a lot of these things I had to find on my own. So I really want to be your first friend from abroad and help you with my videos. So thank you for watching and see you in Ireland.